I committed crimes and I have to pay for those crimes. A second Bakersfield police detective sentenced to prison after pleading guilty to corruption charges three weeks after corrupt former BPD officer Demacio Diaz sentenced to five years in prison. His former partner Patrick Mara learned his fate today. We have team coverage of the sentencing and what the police chief is now saying about this case. So we'll first turn to 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson who was at the sentencing today in Fresno. Guys, the U.S. attorneys on this case were asking for between 22 and 27 years in prison for Patrick Mara for possession of meth with the intent to sell. Pa uh, Mara and his attorney were asking for about three years. In the end, the judge said that he had to establish consistency between Diaz's case and Mara's case since they were obviously incredibly similar. And he said in the end that helped contribute to Patrick Mara's sentence of five years in prison. I apologize to the citizens of Bakersfield for betraying the trust that they had a uh, place in me. Today in downtown Fresno, Patrick Mara, a former detective with the Bakersfield Police Department, was sentenced to five years in prison and five years probation for possession of meth with intent to sell during his time with the BPD. The 36-year-old Mara had previously stated that he and his former partner, Demacio Diaz, would steal narcotics from drug dealers, then turn around and sell them through a third party. The two would order traffic stops based on tips from that third party, a supposed acquaintance of Mara's whom he declined to make a comment on, but Mara did want to make one thing clear about the officers who were ordered to assist with the stops. They never had anything to do with any criminal conspiracy that we were a part of. They never got paid a dime from anything that happened. The only thing that they did was uh, what they thought was their job. Meanwhile, U.S. attorneys argue that Mara's effect on the community of Bakersfield and its police department was far too damaging. They also referenced the fact that the district attorney's office sent letters to those involved in 44 cases in which Mara was an active participant, cases that could potentially be retried. Despite their argument, the judge gave Mara five years in prison, saying that he wanted to, quote, give hope for Mara, his wife, and their two young children. The judge also said that the likelihood of Mara committing another crime is low and that he wanted consistency between Mara and Diaz's sentences. When Mara was asked if he thought the sentence was fair. I know that I committed crimes and I have to pay for those crimes. Now, as you might imagine, Mara asked to be housed as closely as possible to Kern County. He has until 2 p.m. on December 5th to surrender willingly or risk getting a consecutive term. That's also the same date as Demacio Diaz has to surrender. In downtown Fresno, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.